when you say the word formula, everybody's like, oh, it's so formulaic. You notice who's dominating sports now? New England Patriots. And what's fascinating about New England's formula, it's not anti-player exactly, but it's almost the anti-formula formula. Individual players never paralyze the organization. The players are important, the system's bigger. The players have value, it never trumps the formula. They're looking for a certain type of athlete, a certain, ty a certain type of mentality. To me, I don't mind that. There's great systems everywhere. Those are the most successful. But also, you have to have guys that buy into the system. Yes. I want to see the best do the absolute best. I don't care how they get there. I don't care if they play six receivers. I don't care if they run the ball. But I like the artistic part of being great, and that's what New England is. When I think of boxing, I think of the face of Ali. When I think of the NBA, I think of the face of Michael Jordan. When I think of Major League Baseball, strangely, I think of the face of Babe Ruth. From this point forward, I think of the NFL, I think of Tom Brady. I think Tom's completely separated from everybody else at that position. Wins, records, Super Bowl records, Super Bowl appearances. I think he's now the face of the league. LeBron and, and Brady, there are some parallels. They got their team the first championship. They have kind of ridiculous controversies, the decision and deflate gate, which don't really mean anything, but it gave us something to talk about. What do you make now of Brady, LeBron, in their prime? You often don't realize something when you're in it. It's only when you look back on it. We are in the golden era of American professional sports. There are two sports that are king in this country, the NFL and the NBA, and the guys that will go down as the greatest of all time in each of their sports are still somehow in their primes right now.